Hey everybody, today's recipe we're making black bean burgers. Now these are vegan and gluten free and I think they're super delicious and I'm going to show you how to make them so that they're not too soft and mushy. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you how to do it right after this. All right, so let's go over our ingredients. First up, we have our canned black beans. So what you wanna do there is just drain them out, rinse them, give them a nice rinse, and then we're gonna pour them onto a foil-lined baking sheet because we want to dry them out. That's what's gonna keep this from being too wet of a recipe. So go ahead and spread them out into a single layer so they can dry out in the oven. All right, let's move on to our garbanzo beans. We're gonna do the same thing with those as well. And so you wanna drain them and save, but you wanna save the liquid in the canned garbanzo bean. That's aquafaba, which can be a substitute for egg whites. So you don't wanna throw that away, it's very useful. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a recipe that you can use that for when you're making this. So we'll place our beans into a 325 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 15 minutes or so, so they can dry out. So here's our beans after 10 minutes in the oven and you can see that they're quite dried out. Now this is an important step that you don't wanna skip. Next up is our lentils. These are just uh, dried lentils that I cooked up according to the package directions. So go ahead and do that, drain them. And then I actually put mine in the refrigerator to kind of dry them out as well. I've got a yellow onion here and some mushrooms that I uh, did the super fine dice with because I want it to be really small and just mix in really well. We'll also do the same with some uh, diced up bell peppers here. I'm using a, an orange one just because that's what I had in the fridge. Next up is some beets. Now I took some fresh beets and I rinsed them and then peeled them. And then I used a grater and I grated them into small pieces. Then you'll want to place that into a saucepan and cover it with some water and then place it on the stove and bring it to a boil and then simmer it for about 10 minutes or so until uh, you can taste it and see that they're soft and cooked a little bit. Once the beets have cooled off, then you're gonna wanna drain them as well to get all the liquid out of them. And then take a spoon and press the beets, you know, into the, into the strainer so that you can drain out even more of the, of the liquid. We'll need some arrowroot. That's gonna help uh, to kind of thicken things up and hold it together. And I have some nu nutritional yeast here, which is gonna add a nice little cheesy kind of flavor to your burger. For spices, I've got some garlic powder, some smoked paprika. We'll have some salt and pepper. We're gonna use some red chili flakes in this. That's just optional if you want a little bit of heat. We'll need some olive oil and some fresh herbs. I've got some fresh uh, Italian parsley here and some basil. And by the way, this is a great way to keep your fresh herbs fresh longer, as I just uh, trim them up a little bit and then place them into a little mason jar with some water and then place a Ziploc bag or any kind of plastic bag over the top and just set it in your refrigerator and it keeps for quite a long time. The only other prep work that we need to do for this recipe is to cook the onion, mushrooms, and the bell pepper just for a little bit, maybe five to 10 minutes tops in a little bit of olive oil on the stove. So we'll get a nice big large frying pan, put about a teaspoon of uh, olive oil in there, get it hot, and then add the onions and the mushrooms and the bell peppers and just saute them for, like I said, 10 minutes. You wanna let your onion mixture cool a bit before we start putting everything together. So we're ready to do that now. So I'm gonna take all my beans that I dried out in the oven, the black beans and the garbanzo beans, and I'm gonna place them in my food processor. This foil comes in handy. It makes a nice little way to carry them over here and it keeps the, the pan clean. So cleanup is great. All right, we'll put that in there. I'm gonna put in the lentils. And things start getting pretty full, so I don't wanna overdo this because what we're gonna do is just mix this much here together and then we're gonna put the rest of it in a bowl and we're gonna mix it up by hand. And you want to pulse. Okay, I'm going to place everything at this point in the bowl because the food processor really isn't blending things up as too great now. It's pretty pretty full. So we're going to do it by hand. Now I'm going to mix in the beets. 
And I think just doing it by hand really works well. Okay, now we want to get these spices in there and I want to kind of sprinkle them around to just, you know, just to spread them around better. Put a little bit in, mix it up, and then do it again. All right, now I'm going to sprinkle in the arrowroot. A little bit at a time. And you can do that with the nutritional yeast as well. And just work it in. Now you can taste this at any point in time because everything's cooked. It's not like you're, you know, it's like hamburger meat where you, you can't taste it. You can taste this at any point. I'm going to dump in the parsley and use the fresh stuff. Don't try and use, you know, dried parsley or dried basil. It will not taste nearly as good. And I'm going to put just a pinch of salt in there. All right, put some pepper in there and some red pepper flakes. This is optional. I like that just a hint of heat is nice. Look at that, that red color almost looks like ground beef, almost. Okay, so that's all my ingredients. And at this point now we're just gonna adjust them if we need to, like add a little more salt if we need to, more pepper flakes, pepper, whatever you want. All right, let's make some patties. Remember, these aren't going to shrink up like a regular hamburger would. And these aren't really, you know, hamburgers. I mean, they're different. So don't expect them to be like, wow, this tastes like a hamburger. I mean, it's going to taste good, but it may not taste like a hamburger to you. Now you can serve these up. You can eat them just like this, you know, fry it up and cook it and eat it with some veggies. You can serve it on a hamburger bun. You can serve it on regular bread, make it like a patty melt. That's what I'm gonna do because I don't have any hamburger buns today. Heat up your frying pan here. I've got mine over a medium low heat kinda. And I'm gonna put in probably about two to three teaspoons of oil in the pan. Give that oil a swirl. And you can, I can tell that the oil is hot. So I'm gonna place my burger in there. And I got it over medium heat. What we want to do is get a little crust going on this thing, a little browning. You'll see when we turn it over. We're going to cook this for probably just a two, a couple minutes, two or three minutes, depending on how high that, that uh, temperature is. I mentioned earlier that I have a recipe for you to try using the garbanzo bean liquid that we used in this recipe. Well, it's my matcha latte delgano recipe. It is absolutely delicious. It's nice and creamy and just it's iced and it just is perfect for this time of year. It's starting to get hot. You're gonna love it. So check it out. All right, I think it's time to flip them over. All right, they're done. I'm gonna take them off and put them on a plate. So here's how I'm gonna eat my black bean burger. I'm gonna make it a black bean patty melt. I'm going to paste, place my bread down there in the butter. Take my patty, place it right there. I'm going to top it with a piece of cheddar cheese. I'm going to place my other piece of bread on there. And I'm going to put a little butter up here. I have my temperature on low. And then you want to cover this with a lid, that way the cheese will melt. Then cook it to a nice golden brown. All right, so here's our black bean burger. Let me cut it in half for you, just so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Check that out. Time for a bite, don't you think? I think so. That is super delicious. I think I like it better this way on bread with some butter and grilled as a patty melt than as a hamburger. This is much more interesting for me, or you can even eat it just plain and add some veggies to it and have a great meal. If you enjoyed this recipe, I've got two more recipes for you to try that are vegan and gluten-free as well. The first one down here is roasted vegetables with a homemade pesto sauce and a balsamic reduction. This is to die for. I hope you guys try that. Click that button and go check that out. If you don't like that one, well, I've got another one over here for you. Right over here, that one is the lemon, creamy lemon cauliflower gnocchi 
Again, the flavors are so delicious. Check them out, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and leave me a comment. Take care.